Bitcoin is nearly worth $100,000. I've been covering Bitcoin uh, since 2017 as a journalist and a, a writer for Cointelegraph. And I still find it astounding that people in 2024, nearly 2025, are asking me, what is Bitcoin and why is it worth $100,000? I thought I'd do a short, quick explainer to recap what has happened in 2024 to get Bitcoin to close to $100,000. And if you don't know anything about Bitcoin, some resources that you could look into um, and educate yourself to make some good decisions about whether you should maybe own some Bitcoin going into the future. So firstly, 2024 has been a really interesting year for Bitcoin. We had the launch of Bitcoin exchange traded funds, ETFs in the United States. This was important because it allowed uh, institutional investors to finally gain access to Bitcoin. There's many investors and companies that simply cannot buy Bitcoin at the market. They needed a financial instrument or a product to give them exposure to Bitcoin. The launch of Bitcoin ETFs in the United States did that. And we've seen now a huge flood of capital moving into these markets, the likes of BlackRock holding huge amounts of Bitcoin on behalf of their clients who have uh, shares in these Bitcoin ETFs. This week we saw up to 9,000 Bitcoin a day being bought up by the various Bitcoin ETFs in the United States. So that just shows you how high the demand is versus the supply of newly minted Bitcoin. Another big factor in the rise of Bitcoin's value has been the influence of Michael Saylor. He's the founder of MicroStrategy, which is a software company. They, three years ago, announced that they would be adopting Bitcoin as their treasury reserve. Saylor took a bet and he started acquiring a load of Bitcoin. The result of that has been quite astonishing. Saylor has adopted a really interesting strategy uh, in the way that he acquires Bitcoin. Uh, MicroStrategy offers convertible notes. Michael Saylor is taking that cash and he's buying more Bitcoin with it. Many savvy investors are seeing the value and potential in this and they've been piling into MicroStrategy. Then of course we have the US elections. Donald Trump is the president-elect. He'll be taking office in January. During his presidential campaign he became very pro-Bitcoin. Uh, he surrounded himself with many individuals and politicians and business people in the United States that are all pro-Bitcoin. One of them will, that will allow the United States government to acquire a significant amount of Bitcoin. This is perhaps one of the most influential reasons why Bitcoin has appreciated in value. The truth is, if the United States chooses to adopt Bitcoin, almost every other nation state in the world will have to follow suit. There's only 21 million Bitcoin that will ever be created. They're highly divisible, of course, but it means that if nation states start adopting Bitcoin, you have hundreds of millions, billions of dollars to tap into the hard money properties that Bitcoin espouses. It's uh, quite literally digital gold. You can move Bitcoin around the world much better than you can move gold around the world. And this is one of the reasons why it's highly valuable. So there you go about five reasons why Bitcoin is close to $100,000. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor, but I would tell you to educate yourself. There are many fantastic resources out there, uh, many fantastic authors, economists, uh, cryptographers that have written really good books on the subject and why Bitcoin is valuable and the future of money. I'll drop some links below uh, if you're interested in reading those, but that's just a short explainer of why Bitcoin is at 100K and what could happen in 2025.